Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Kiriel and today we are doing a smoky green eye look. This is of course a continuation of my gemstone series that I'm doing here on my channel and this is inspired by Emerald for the month of May, which is actually my birth month. <laughs> I'm a little bit late getting this one up but it is because I took some time off for this month because it was my birthday. <laughs> But I still wanted to do it to continue the series. So looking at images of Emerald, it's kind of like a forest green, but with some blue aspects to it. So I really wanted to put that in the makeup. So I've kind of used a tealy shade to actually blend out the edges and almost make it look like it's glowing because I was inspired by some of these images by here and it does almost look like there's a glow from within. So that's what I wanted to do with my eye makeup. And I think I did an okay job. Green isn't my favorite color but I really wanted to do this justice and do something pretty and sultry. At least I hope I did that anyway. I'm gonna be playing around with my Be Perfect X Stacey Marie Carnival 3 palette, Love Tahiti, along with some Sparkle by W7 and Beauty Bay. So yeah we're just gonna play around have some fun. I do my base and things off camera because I'm actually testing out a new foundation today. I'm trying out the new Revolution Body Veil foundation. That's gonna be coming up in a future video. So if you're interested in that make sure you subscribe. Hit the red button down below and the bell button so you get notified of my future videos. But yeah, I think that's all I've got to say. I'm gonna stop blabbing your ear off. Without further ado, let's get right on into this emerald inspired eye look. All right, so this is what we're doing today. It's kind of like a smoky eye with a little bit of a graphic moment over here. I haven't done the inner corner and lower lash line obviously but we'll get to that in a bit. Let's just do this eye together. I've already primed. I used the Beauty Bay eye base in the color 2. Honestly though I don't think these shadows really mix well with this base. I feel like they crease a lot with this but oh well I'm gonna use it anyway. <laughs> For this today I'm using my Be Perfect Carnival 3 palette Love Tahiti and we are focusing on these two rows over here. The first shade I'm gonna go into is Black Beach. I'll just go in straight straighten with the black. <laughs> just tap out any creasing and I'm just going to darken this outer corner already. I'm doing this with my eye open so I can see where it's going to be when my eyes are relaxed you know. Kind of creating a little triangle at the top here and then fill in what was missed. basically just creating a line at the moment. As you can see we don't see much of the black because we kind of go over it but I just want it for the depth there first of all. Alright now that's on there I'm gonna blend it out a little with the shade Forest which is a nice foresty green. I'm going 50% on the black and 50% on just the skin. I'm creating almost like a little box with these colours. This is just to start the look off really. I'm just going to reinforce the black with the emerald green as well because this is a green look. I don't really want too much black but just a deep green so that's why I just added it as a base first of all. Now I'm going in with the shade Tropics which is a nice brighter green and I'm gonna blend out the forest shade. Again 50% on, 50% off. slowly creating a gradient and I'm also going to bring this color right throughout the crease just making sure to join up the line we've kind of created with this square out here and fading it down and I'm doing this with my eye open so I know where it is when I open my eye and then filling in the blank space by just lifting my eyebrow Okay, now that's on there, I'm gonna blend it out a little bit more and I'm going in with the shade Reef. I like that in this color in because it almost makes it look like it's glowing on the outer edges and I really like that. Some of the images had that kind of glow to it so I wanted to include that. So once again, I'm going 50% on, 50% off and I'm blending this edge out. Taking this right into the inner corner as well. Now I'm just going to take a clean brush and I'm just going to sweep over the edges just to make sure it's nice and soft. 
Okay, that's pretty much all the kind of crease work and things we need. Now I'm gonna go on the lid and I'm just gonna use the shade Forest. I'm gonna take this pretty much three quarters of the way across, leaving the inner corner blank because we're gonna have a nice lime green there. But I'm just gonna pack this color all the way across the lid. To make sure it creates a straight line when I'm looking forward, I again apply this with my eyes open and I kind of match it up to the black that we've created, which by the way, I am gonna blend this more, but it's just there as a guide for now. I'm just blending it into the black. I'm gonna blend that in a minute. First of all though, I'm gonna go in with the shade Key Lime. This is going in the inner corner and also I'm gonna bring it up on the inner third. I wanted this to be really soft, so that's why I decided not to cut the crease or anything. I'm just building the shade up a little. And then I'm just going in with the shade Tropics to blend the forest green and the key lime shade together. Okay, now that's all on that, I'm gonna go back in with the colors around this outer area and really blend it all together. And also come throughout the crease and blend those colors as well. I want it to look really blended, but I just wanted to make sure I had the impact of the color first of all. But yeah, let's just blend this out a little. So that's all done. Honestly, that did not take me that long. <laughs> now it's time for the kind of graphic liner side and some sparkle. So for this, I use the Beauty Bay Living My Best Light Liquid Eyeshadow. And this is in the shade Malachite. I think it's called, but it's this gorgeous kind of emerald green color, really shiny and sparkly, it's beautiful. And then I just kind of trace the outer part of the line with some glitter. I've used this by W7, so good, highly recommend, so cheap and affordable. It's the Metal Flash Metallic Glitter Eyeliner, and this is in the shade Iridescent, so good. I'm taking this tiny little detail brush, and I'm just gonna take some of the product on there, and then I pray to the graphic liner gods <laughs> that this is gonna come out all right. And I've gotta try and make them even, which is the hardest job when your eyes aren't even even. I'm just gonna go for it, you know? Let's just pray. Also, I went to the gym yesterday and did arms, which is not a good idea because now I'm finding it hard to hold up the brushes. But um, yeah, just pray for me. Okay, just pray. <laughs> Okay, so I did it completely wrong. Luckily though, once it's dried, I could kind of chip it off <laughs> with the spoolie. But yeah, I just have to go back in with some eyeshadow to make sure that's still there. All right, I'm sorry if, if I went off camera to do that. It's very hard to concentrate on this, <laughs> but I think I'm almost even on both sides. It's very hard when your eyes are completely different shapes. Anyway, I'm just gonna kind of thin out the line a little bit here, and then I'm gonna go over a second time to re-intensify it, because I feel like when you use it on a brush, it kind of dilutes the formula a little bit, so I just wanna make sure it's there, you know? I don't bring this all the way down to the outer corner of the way, it's just literally kind of hanging out there. <laughs> now that's on there, I've kind of tried to even myself a little bit, but now it's time for the glitter. I'm literally just going to trace around the outer kind of triangle shape, and I'm gonna do two layers of this as well. I'm just using the actual applicator in the glitter. It's really fine and works really well, but I'm just kind of keeping it to the outer part and just fading it down a little, just like that. Just creates a little something at the end. Ooh, look how pretty. That second layer just brings 
out the glitter a little bit more, you know? All right, I'm just gonna tight line. I'm gonna use Woodsy by Colourpop in collaboration with Raw Beauty Christie. And then I'm gonna curl my lashes and add some mascara. I'm just using the Maybelline Sky High. I'm gonna go clean up my fallout. There's not a lot, but there is a little bit. And I'm actually testing out a foundation today. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all that. I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, let's finish up this eye together. I have completed this one. I really like the way it's turned out. Kept it real simple on the lower lash line. I just went in with the shade Tropics with a really light hand and just kind of added a wash of this color to the lower lash line, keeping the inner third blank. And I'm not blending it too far down either, keeping it quite close to the lash line. And then I'm just taking the Key Lime shade and just blending that in to the Tropics colour, kind of extending the inner corner a little bit. And then I took my Beauty Bay Liquid Eyeshadow again and I've extended the inner corner and joined it up with the lower lash line. All right, then I'm just gonna add some lashes. I am using Bambi by Pound Lashes. They're so pretty. gonna add a little bit of mascara on my lower lash line, not too much. Now I just need to squeeze my lashes together with the falsies. Just gonna touch up these creases. This is really annoying me. I just have to use a different base with these shadows from now on. Oh, and I almost forgot to add a nude pencil to my waterline. This is Honey Dude by Colourpop. And these are the finished eyes. I really like them actually. Now I'm gonna go finish up my face. Everything that I've used for my face, I'll link down below. But yeah, these are the eyes. All right, you guys, here is the finished look. I really love it. I would say it's a little bit different for me. I don't quite do smoky eyes like this, where it's all over the lid, really. So it's nice to play around with some color to do this. And I also love just a hint of the graphic line and the glitter. It's just so pretty. And I mean, I'm a sucker for any kind of sparkle, really. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please leave a thumbs up so I know. I'm really enjoying doing the series. It just adds a little bit of creativity throughout my review videos and things. Oh, and the clothing videos that I've started doing and interjecting into my channel, which by the way, thank you guys so much for the positive feedback on that video. It truly meant a lot. <laughs> it's very nerve wracking doing stuff like that, something new, especially when the internet can sometimes be a negative space, but I'm so glad that I have such nice people here and you guys are truly accepting and just, yeah, just nice people. So thank you so much. Yeah, I'm gonna stop gushing now and being cringy, okay? <laughs> I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world and I hope I see you on the next one, which if you haven't already, please subscribe, hit the red button down below and the bell button so you get notified of all my future uploads. And yeah, I hope I see you on the next one. Till then, bye guys.